Hey, practice owners, welcome back to another edition of Coming Back Stronger. Uh, our guest today, um, Andrew Lopez um, of Dr. Genius. Andrew and I are actually on uh, some different things. One, a weekly panel uh, discussion for the dental industry. And Andrew's contribution is um, a lot of his online, online marketing. Uh, in one of our discussions, he shared some actual Google search terms that are trending up like, I mean, just like a hockey stick. And so I asked him if he would come on and share that uh, with you guys uh, in the Coming Back Stronger series in the context of things you can be doing now or things you can be uh, acclimating yourself to as you come back. Um, you know, there are a lot of, um, Andrew and I were talking beforehand about the number of practices that may not make it back. We certainly hope everybody watching uh, this uh, episode does and wanna do everything we can to help with that and uh so that's uh, that's why i have andrew on and uh, andrew how you doing i'm good thanks steve thanks I, for having I, me i, I see you're at the office finally back in the office yeah <laughs> that that webinar yesterday man yeah outside, you're right i got so, i think i got attacked by the, the flies from next door or something well, just, and you're <laughs> in southern california right southern california yeah so i was um kind of getting you in know, from, the, from the garden <laughs> yeah working from the garden in southern california isn't such a bad deal but uh, yeah, at some point we got to get back to work. So back to reality. You know, we were talking ahead of time the percentages of of dentists that may not just may not come back. And part of you know, I think what I'm seeing is the ones that don't come back. Um, it's 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 not this situation that killed them. It was the fact that they were sort of right there on the bubble anyway. They yeah. they they struggled with cash and cash flow. They struggle with growth. Um, they had some teen turnover, maybe. They just, uh, you know, they didn't have the fundamentals in place. Uh, they didn't have a new patient, um, I don't know, new patient machine or engine uh, in place anyway. So that when they had to come back and they had 20% displaced patients uh, and, they're t and they don't have a machine to replace those and they're taking, you know, 63 PPOs, uh, so their margins are down it just, all, those numbers just don't add, you just can't sustain that at 50% for the rest of the year. So, you know, that's the, the tough part. So um, if you could just real quickly, I, I mean, like a thumbnail sketch for anybody watching, what is Dr. Genius? And then uh, I know you've got a lot of slides and shares that I think will be really, really, really important as we explain what you do and how you do it. Yeah, so Dr. Genius is a new patient acquisition solution. Um, the way we go about that is through a search engine optimized website that we provide all of our clients. Um, that's huge for us from, you know, getting you not only in front of your direct market, which is usually a five mile radius of where your office is. So it's not like a big nationwide campaign. It is a geo campaign focusing on your immediate market, um, all the way down to the longitude and latitude. So we run geo canvas reports to where we actually run a bot and we put it in all these different longitude and latitude, pretty much every longitude and latitude within a five mile radius around your office. And we can see how you're ranking. So sometimes when you do a search from your office, you're like, well, I'm on the first page. I uh -huh. urge you or I challenge you to walk down the street and do that same search. Huh. That's how smart Google is these days. Uh -huh. So um, we've taken that strategy and we've created a performance-based model to generate new patients for dentists without long-term contracts. Uh -huh. And that's the solution, you know, is being um, accountable and transparent to the end user and providing a solid return on investment. I think the, the interesting thing is, and I pulled some numbers out here uh, before, we, uh, before we got here about uh, where patients are finding a new dentist. And I think, you know, given our current situation, uh, we're shut down. Um, coming back, I think it will only get um, more acute. Um, and so I've got some numbers here from 2019. 70% um, of new patients found their dentist online. So, you know, we were talking ahead of time. Um, I still get calls from docs, old coaching clients who say, <laughs> man, after 25 years, you know, my yellow page guy came in and I can finally get the back cover and it's only $11,000. Yeah. 
And, uh, you know, I ask, well, do you know why you can get the back cover? It's because nobody's looking at the yellow pages. Um, I always tease and say, you know, I own five millennials and I don't think, I don't think any of my kids have ever actually seen, and they're 20, what are we gotten? 20 through 24 now. Um, they've never even seen a yellow page. They, they couldn't even, you know, they might not be able to pick one out in the lineup. And that's why, that's why, you know, it's awesome. It's only 11 grand and it used to be 25, but the reason is nobody's looking at it. So, um, so in there, and seven out of 10 are online looking for a dentist. The other thing that thought it was interesting is 65% are using a mobile device. They're using a phone. And 60, six and a half out of 10 who find you, find you on a phone, which we'll talk about here in a minute, how that plays into your website uh, more than anything. Uh, and then 56% clicked to call an um, appointment and make an appointment immediately. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that they uh, clicked and made, the, made an appointment and needed a, you know, an appointment setting piece of software. They might just click your phone number and said, you know, hey, I see you down the street. You know, I'm thinking about implants. And that's how they do it. So the significant thing is just those three numbers. 70% um, in 2018 reported in first quarter of 2019. 70% found their new dentist online, 65% use a mobile device, and 56% appoint that moment. So um, out of that kind of comes what you do, it, which is, you know, they're, they're, it's rare that they're driving down, see a billboard and say, I'm going to Google that guy, or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to that guy's website. It's right there on the billboard. They typically find it through a search. And Absolutely. one of the things that jumped out in our conversation was what they're searching for. So what I'd like to do is maybe start out with, you know, how it normally works, how patient behavior normally finds that new dentist online, and then what that costs, and then what you do, what you saw when you sort of figured that out, and said, hey, I think we can do it better and for a whole lot less. So Absolutely. kind of walk us through what, you know, in that online, how that works, how they Google it, what that means, and then you have some uh, numbers and charts that I think will be very interesting for, for our, our viewers. Yeah, I mean, some of those numbers you had just mentioned are right in line with what we're seeing with our clients. Um, mm -hmm. Ours are a little bit higher because they are optimized. Our clients are going to have right. better results than what you would see on your mainstream, right? Because they actually have a provider behind them that is servicing them. Right. So we're seeing about 80% of that traffic come from um, mobile sites. Okay. And, in converting quite well, especially because of the content enriched um, strategy we have. So when you bring up the yellow pages, yeah, I mean, we, we, especially for, you know, I mean, my kids, they'll, they're like, like yeah. my, my oldest is 12 and she has no idea. I mean, we stopped using those things as booster seats, you know, over a decade mm -hmm. ago. So, and I think a lot of us are familiar with Google and Google AdWords now, right. you know, is Google ads. Um, because yeah, they're sending us vouchers, they're calling us, they're emailing us, we see it when we're searching. But same thing with yellow pages, we've kind of evolved and we know that, hey, that ad up there is being, it's paid. Someone's paid mm -hmm. for that to be there. So the relevance for that ad really doesn't mean much to me as when I'm searching because I want to find that credible business. I want to be able to see a review. I want to see what other people are saying. And that's in the listings, right? That's your organic. Um, so when I started looking at this, I'm like, wow, these individuals are paying quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I just wanted to just kind of take an example and see what it would cost to run a similar campaign that we would run, but okay. not really have to pay for the clicks. Um, that's our strategy is how can we get those clicks and not have to pay for them? Cause I'm sure you're all aware that when you go to Google, you know, or Google ads and you want to run those ads, it's per click, you're paying per click. I want everyone to take notice here, the cost per click of $1.83. Um, and you'll see some of these keywords over here, dental implants. And you're mm -hmm. going, wow, Andrew can get that keyword for $1.83. Yeah, Andrew can, but Andrew also costs 50% of your ad spend to manage that campaign, right? So when you look at a monthly ad spend of $32,000 and then you have to pay an individual 20 to 50% of that to manage it, to get that cost per click of $1.83, mm -hmm. 
Because yeah, that is, I agree. That is relatively when your competitors are paying $22 for that same click because it's not managed correctly and you're able to get it for $1.83, that's huge. But what does that really look like on a return on an ad spend on your roast, right? Um, and that's something I really, and our team, our entire team here, we pride ourselves on is to provide a performance-based model and to really provide a return on investment that makes sense. Okay. So I'm going to yeah. go ahead and jump into here. And this is, you know, taking those six, 680 conversions, mm -hmm. okay, and your $1.81 cost per click, mm -hmm. your $32,000 ad spend mm -hmm. without management fees, okay? You're going to, after all that plays out, you're only going to um, get about 10% of those to go ahead and schedule an appointment. To okay. The button seat. So you're looking at about 68 new appointments, which is pretty good per month, right? right. For for, right. for a practice. But the cost to, for each one of those appointments is about $470.58. And that's your so that's called in business terms, marketing terms, that's your customer acquisition cost. That's your customer acquisition. And then yeah. yes, I mean, I understand that you have, you know, this is going to be hopefully a patient for life, you know, and mm -hmm. six, 12 months down the road, you'll get, you know, a little bit rich, more of a return on it. But we really don't look at it that deep because okay. we need you to have that return on investment now because we're not putting you in a long-term contract. This is month to month performance based. So what we strategize was a way to create a solution that gets that same traffic, mm -hmm. but at a lower cost to where it makes sense and you're getting a return on investment day one, okay? So you look at this, our silver package with Dr. Genius with our SEO data-driven strategy is $5.99 per month. That does include the website, that mm -hmm. does include the content management, which a Google Ads campaign doesn't. You still have to find the individual to manage that. Um, the silver program generates 10 plus new patient um, inquiries per month. On average, it's 10 to 20. Um, and we set the bar super low because we want to over succeed. Um, mm -hmm. So I can set that out there and feel totally comfortable that we're going to hit it for you guys. Now, when you look at the cost per appointment, it's a fraction of what it was with Google Ads. Yeah. yeah. $59 to $29. Now, Hey, Andrew, but you're only getting us 10 new play patients a month. That's not even comparable to what Google Ads can. And we took that in consideration and we worked with some of our dentists um, that have really scaled this out for us because we, when we started, we only had that one program. Mm -hmm. we said, hey, well, what happens if we give you guys more money? And we, you know, 10 years later, this is where we're at. Now, if I go to the next one, our platinum program. Nice. So this is going to be a top tier to, to kind of match what Google Ads is doing over here. So for $24.99 per month, which includes, again, the website and content posted monthly, you're getting 45 plus new patient inquiries. Okay, so now we're getting closer to that 68, right? For $55.53 or lower per, per appointment. That's unheard of. Yeah, um, and that's, um, so you said something interesting about the website, and I, I think, um, I want to dig into that a little bit, the how you do it part, um, that it's, uh, so I, I, um, I'm trying to think of how to sort of frame up the question. I think if I have a website and I just pay for Google ads and, you know, we see what happens, I'm, I'm that guy on the left. I'm that $470 per new patient. And, and the reason that's important, uh, you know, for any of the, the practice owners that are listening is, you know, a $470 acquisition cost might be fine if the average value of that client is, you know, $1,200. You know, that's a hundred and something percent margin. So that's worth spending it. It's worth spending $470 to get a $1,200 patient. But if your lifetime value or your value of that patient is $350, you know, the percentage that do nothing but hygiene for three trips and disappear, versus those who get restorative done and the average value is $350, you just spent $470 to get a $350 client. I can tell you, you can't do that long before, you know, the bank shows up and says, hey, you don't get to be a practice owner anymore. So the key is to do both of those things well. Spend time on the clinical side of your practice, making the value of that patient more by doing things like implants and, um, 
you know, we, we'll talk here in a minute about uh, complete health dentistry or holistic dentistry. Um, at the same time, bringing the acquisition costs down, and that simply is profitability. That's what it boils down to. That's and that's and that's where we need to be thinking right now. You know, and yeah. coming back and coming back stronger, right? Um, I have this slide here. I can just share real quick. It's um, when you. So my point to that, <clears throat> excuse me, is the the website. Yeah, there you go. Uh, website's part of that. It's, it's an integrated solution versus just buying some SEO for a, you know, sucky website. Yeah. And, and I mean, and we're all feeling it right now in regards to budget, right? Yeah. And there's, there's these three steps I've talked to, you know, with you about this before. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Webinars. You know, and I mean, we're, <laughs> we've gotten past a lot of these and we're on this, you know, post-crisis wave now. Mm -hmm. um, but financially we really need to look at this over here to the left, the lower spending and cost, cost, um, cost cutting, you know, um, okay. we, we haven't, we haven't really seen the end of this. We're only seeing the beginning of this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so when we're looking at Google ads, unless you have a whole bunch of stock in Google, you know, um, it's not going to be worth, you know, spending the money. And this is coming from, yeah. um, from, like the way I'm running our own um, ads and our own marketing for our own company. Right? Mm -hmm. It's just not making sense right now. Um, right. The volume's not there. It's, it's just, it's not being managed right. And SEO is hands down is, is the classroom winner mm -hmm. over, over again, because that return on investment just keeps getting better and better. The more SEO gets stronger, the lower your, your cost is per new patient acquired. And that may be good strategy <clears throat> or timing as you're, as you're bringing back your existing patients and you know who they are, you're calling them, you're reappointing them. You know, they were supposed to be in in April for a crown seat or crown prep or, you know, some big restorative treatment while you're filling your schedule with them and getting them on track so that 30 days from now and 60 days from now, new patient flow needs to start ramping off of existing patient flow. It's, it's a good time to really start a, a new, um, new patient acquisition process. So, you know, again, if I have a website, if I know that seven out of 10 people find a new dentist online, I need to be smart, look good when they get there. And what I'd like to ask you is sort of to explain the website component. And I know you guys do a lot of content and that's critical. It's not just having a plain old website. Um, it's also understanding that if 56% appoint immediately, you know, they're not, you know, they're not driving down the road, putting in a URL that they saw on a billboard. They are, they go to your site, they're on their phone, they click, they make a call and say, Hey, you know, um, um, I want to make an appointment right now. Your website has got to be optimized for that. Number one. And then it's got to be optimized for the SEO, right? Absolutely. Okay. So we're looking at Google Trends on a daily basis and um, okay. obviously the Google algorithm as well. So we can really see what's being searched in that geo targeted area. Every geo is going to be different. It's a different demographic. So understanding okay. purchase behaviors and buying cycles is huge. We know that if we can target a mother while she's leaving the office or leaving the, the home space away from the kids in her ear, and she's looking to find a dentist near me and she's uh -huh. on her cell phone, we have an 80% conversion rate of getting her to make an appointment if we can get her hmm. to see your website. To okay. get, and that's getting her to see your website. Now, it's not any website. That's a Dr. Genius provided website because our websites right. are split tested. It's, it's not, we're not, can, you're not gonna get a custom website from us. It's like buying a Porsche, but you get black or white. You okay. know what it's gonna do? You know it's going to cross that finish line. You know it's going to do 140. You know it's zero to 60 in this. So, but and you, so you know the performance of it. You know the service, you know, center behind it, and who's going to mm -hmm. service it. And you know that those guys are going to, you know, basically go through that thing and and make sure everything's running to its highest capability. That's Doctor Genius. We're not a website agency or a marketing agency per se. We developed a solution, and the solution works there's some customized you can customize some things to it you can have the branding the color schemes and all that is there but the actual framework the way we write the book because if you think of google as a library and your website as a book 
We're the publisher, right? Okay. So we, know how, we know how to publish that book to where it gets in all the libraries and indexed, which is, you know, across Google and all the areas and indexed. So when anybody comes and looks for it for this specific term, you're going to be found. Well, and that's the key, I think. Um, the website is ne not just aesthetics. You know, it's more, it needs to be more function over form. Data driven so, nowadays. And, and number one, you're looking at it on a, I don't know what the size of a screen is now, you know, five inches or five and a half inches. So a big, beautiful website with all kinds of, you know, I don't know, jumping unicorns and flashy stuff and all this looks really neat on a desktop, number one, but it doesn't on a phone. But number two, that's not why you want them there. You want them there to find you, get a quick um, overview of you. They're not going to read 12 articles on, I don't know, how you deal with atraumatic extraction or, you know, what implants you place. They're going to say, ah, I like these people. And you said a term a while ago, geocanvassing. I want to make sure we explain. But bam, they find you. They like what they see. They click and they're appointing. They're calling you to get into the schedule. And hopefully you've got a good team on the back end that says, hey, Mrs. Jones, um, you know, whatever the scripting is, there's a lot of other people that do that, but get them into the office and turn that into a, a new patient. Um, and that's where Dr. Genius, the, the portal comes into play, right? That's the magic, the magic behind. So it's not just what you see with the website, it's how it's handling those searches, how it's putting you a tracking list, recording it. Okay. So a lot of, when you say like, oh, you know, those unicorns and those videos and all that, you know, you'd be amazed. A lot of people want that. Right, right. That's right. not what's really converting. And that's what we work and we focus on is that conversion, right? Um, a lot of those sites are static. So okay. they it, it put it out there and it's just there. It's not learning. We're mm -hmm. learning. So our sites are learning. Mm -hmm. We're Every call is tracked. Every click is tracked so when that call comes back it's into the portal to where you as a dentist can or your front office can go in and listen to those calls the the prospect that comes through or the patient comes through they hit an ivr and they can disposition the call whether or not they're a new, new patient or existing patient system is learning so now we know what is working and what is not as a team as you know as content writers we're like wow that worked this keyword this strategy is working rather than just throwing it there, leaving it there and just letting it sit. We're always optimizing month over month. To just, so you, it's like we hear that term a lot right now in, mm -hmm. in the world, artificial intelligence, AI. Yeah. yeah. Think of this as AI, um, but on a baby scale, right? It's really, you know, it, but it is learning. It is, you know, and it's gonna continue and that what do babies do? They grow up into adults, mm -hmm. right? So it is gonna start growing and, you know, as, the system continues to see these search terms. We're tracking everything. Like usually uh, we see most of our traffic hitting our client's um, homepage. But through this pandemic, the last three months, they're going to hitting the blog pages first. Hmm. And then they're going to forms to fill out a, for an appointment request form. So they actually are going to that content that you're referring to now to read about it. They're not just going to the homepage. They want to see gooey content what is this doctor okay. really about is he a biological dentist is he a holistic dentist is he about complete health or is he just a fill and drill mm -hmm. so the you said something i wrote down geo canvassing uh for somebody who may not know or realize that you know it is the world wide web yes. um so you know i don't care where you are on the planet if you if you look for the profitable dentist magazine you see the same thing but if you're in, um, um, where are you, Riverside, California? Yeah, Riverside, um, California. And, and another thing you said that was interesting is if I'm calling from this, it knows where I am and it knows where you are. So how does geo canvassing kind of work and how does it play into, how about this? Why is it important for my website? Why should I care? So geo canvassing is technology we use. Um, it's a bot. So okay. let's just take, let's, I'm going to say a robot, right? So we give, we have a thousand robots and we're saying, okay, hey, this is your task. So we tell that bot to go out to this longitude and latitude. Mm -hmm. We block off a five mile radius around your office. Your office is the centroid. And for every longitude and latitude within, around your office, we send a bot there and to do a search. 
for all mm -hmm. your search terms that we're optimizing for. So whether it's dental implants, dentist near me, pediatric dentist near me, emergency dentist. So all those, they're running those searches all within that five mile radius. And it's coming back with the result. Whether you're on the first page of Google, the second page, whether you're on Google Maps, whether there's a listing at all, right? And then so we can see within a five mile radius with all these keywords, what is the landscape for your business? Where do you have strengths that we can build upon? And where are there weaknesses that we really have to get our A game together and build out a huge content strategy so you can actually win that market? And that's the geo canvas. Okay. And I would, um, I want to offer everyone on this webinar a free geo canvas report. If you go to drgenius.com forward slash demo, um, go ahead and enter your information and we'll have someone get in contact with you there for sure. And we can see what's going on in your backyard. And you can see, you know, um, you may think that you're on the first page because you're doing that search from your office and it is coming up because Google knows that you're searching from your office, mm -hmm. right? but that's, you're not trying to solicit people in your office. You're trying to solicit people within a five mile radius when they're looking for you, that you're going to get that, that business, right? Huh. And having the relevant site. So having the site um, populate in the organic listing with positive reviews, right? Which we help with. We have a tool practice promoter that helps you solicit and get positive reviews on Google and all the, you know, the, the search engine sites. Um, but that the, we understand the eye pattern as well. That when, an, when we hit the, the site, there's an eye pattern that goes across the site. It's called the golden triangle. So to have the, your call to actions within the golden triangle, so a click, click to call button, not just your telephone number, because if you can't click to call that thing in this day and age, right. no one wants to sit there and dial it in anymore. Right. So we have, we have all of our CTAs in the right, or call to actions in the right um, place for the eye pattern to where we know it has the highest likelihood huh. of converting. So for you doctors out there, this should like really start turning the wheels like, wow, they understand the psychology of the prospect and that, that's what we're always studying. And it's always learning. So it's not just a website. It's not just a marketing campaign. It's a strategy with a solution. And, and the key is you, so that's how you get it from, you know, $32,000 a month down to five ninety nine. Five ninety nine dollars a month. Is, and that's how you get those same numbers is rather than just shotgunning it, you sort of rifle it. And in a lot sniper. of different areas sniper yeah. yeah and yeah there you go better you know better yeah. analogy so you you're able to find those people so let's um you had shown me before search terms and what that means and um so how you you know how somebody's out there looking for a new dentist or they're looking for implants or they're looking for whatever that might be you want to be the one they find you want to be the one that bubbles to the top of that search list and um, which, uh, yeah, here are a few, I, and these are fairly new, right, Andrew? Yeah, so these are things that I've been tracking since um, this pandemic, mm -hmm. and, you, know, mm -hmm. you know, being introduced to you, Steve. And the things like, you know, the webinar that we're a part of with Complete mm -hmm. Health, you know, yeah. it's really something that's near and dear to me and the way I live my life. Um, and so I've been tracking it and I've been seeing some really unique correlations um holistic dentist you know it was a term that was brought up to me by my wife i really didn't know it existed um, mm -hmm. but then i asked some of my sales reps here if they've heard of it and if we actually had any clients that were holistic dentists and we had a few i was like wow okay we this is a thing um and then my wife because we were new to riverside we were looking for that dentist and we couldn't find a holistic dentist but she found a biological dentist mm -hmm. so we went and met with him and he's basically a holistic dentist. It's just, I guess there's, you know, some rough seas out there to use yeah. that term, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, we went with him, really good, Dr. Chad, you know, really good, honest, you know, young, young dentist. He actually bought the practice from his childhood dentist. <laughs> it's, he, what a crazy story. Right, yeah, yeah. So it's awesome. And so I'm, I've been doing this research and you can see, Right here in, in, in this report, I use Google Trends. You know, anyone, you know, with a Google account, you guys can get in there, and mm -hmm. use Trends, Google Insights. You'll be amazed on what you'll find. Um, 
you know, if you want to go to Google My History and you log into your Gmail account, you know, you, you can, you know, if you have someone else's Gmail account, you can see where they've been. You know, you ever want to track your kids, you can see where they're at. It tracks everything, your location history across everything. You'll be amazed on how much data is in this thing right here. And what is, what is that? Um, that would be Google My History. Google My History. Okay. Yeah, so that's the Google My History. There's Google Trends and Google Insights are the okay. tools that I use. But here you can see Holistic Dentist during this COVID-19 pandemic, this purple line here. Yeah. Which is hockey stick. Right. right. That's teledentistry. Mm -hmm. okay. So we already know about that. We kind of, you know, we've been talking about teledentistry. How are doctors going to actually mm -hmm. talk to, to their patients? But the one that got really unique, we had holistic dentists, you know, kind of kind of this blue line here is a steady trend that dropped mm -hmm. down, but you see it starting to increase. There was a correlation yesterday in the report, and let me see if I can pull this up on my screen. So you guys can see it. But if you see right there, yesterday's yeah. report, the yellow and the blue line connected. And I just went, whoa, there's a correlation here, right? So that's complete health and holistic dentistry. There is a little dip in complete health, but it's a huge hockey stick in holistic dentists. Mm -hmm. So I, you kind of see the volume moving, right? It's, it's not the those are it's individuals it's just mm -hmm. what they're searching for so you got to imagine these same individuals are out there that were searching complete health but now they're searching for a holistic dentist they're making the correlation mm -hmm. society is making the correlation right now that our oral health is part of our complete health and you know really we need to be concerned about it because we see what's happening to anyone that has a compromised immune system right now right 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 and no one wants to be on that side of it. Well, and I think what it, the reason it's significant to me and the reason that that's, uh, that sort of popped into my, you know, the top of my list when we were talking about the other day is, um, and I'm going to make sure I highlight this so we can share, uh, is that, you know, as a business owner, um, you know, to use that hockey stick analogy, um, somebody had asked Wayne Gretzky, who, you know, big hockey player. We don't, we don't have hockey uh, here in Louisville, Andrew, but I get the analogy. Uh, they asked uh, uh, Wayne Gretzky why he was so good at uh, hockey. And he said, well, I just do one thing. He said, I, you know, while everybody else is going to the puck, you know, if you have kids, you know, in soccer, it's go to the ball. You know, I'm sure uh, hockey is go to the puck. He said, I don't go to the puck. I go where I think the puck is going to be. So I watch where I think it's going to be. And then I go there. So um, that's what you're doing here. If you, if you, you know, as a practice owner who's looking at this and saying, listen, I can't predict the future. I don't have a crystal ball. But what is dentistry going to look like a year from now and two years from now post COVID? And, you know, PPE, a term I'm going to bet, you know, 99% of Americans didn't even know 90 days ago is now way, way, way at the top of, the, of everybody's list. And somebody who's saying, you know, gosh, I want to go to the dentist, but, you know, I want to make sure that somebody takes care of me and my kids and going to the dentist can now be a health situation, a health risk. And, you know, dental aerosols are now a super trending term, things you wouldn't yeah. even think of. So the key is that's where the puck is going. Yes. Uh, that's where the ball is going. So the reason it's, it's significant is to be there. And one of the things you told me uh, before was about how you um, get the, the, the results that you do is that you have docs, you guys create content, and then you have the docs create content. And part of it is so there's something to read. You know, there's a, they explain whatever it is that they're doing. But the more important thing is it's having enough content that when you do a search and Google's looking for fresh, new, and volume, and maybe you can expand on that, it finds you because you've got, you know, you didn't create a website eight years ago and, you know, it's still working fine, so you don't want to spend any money on it. It's Google is looking for websites with um, particular subjects, a volume, and a freshness, like a most recentness. Is that Absolutely. how it works? Yeah. So yeah, that's so sort of what you do is let's just don't create a site, forget it, and wait for stuff to happen. It's got to be working. It's got to be doing yeah. something new. We create authority. So we make our okay. clients become the authority on the topic. 
right? Okay. So let's say for conversation's sake, it's dental implants. Um, you know, I mean, there's, you know, a way that a website designer may go about creating a service page for dental implants would be, mm-hmm. you know, under services, there'll be a page, dental implants with some content, right? Okay, and the content will talk about dental implants and maybe talk about the city and stuff to get the geo in there and all that. Mm-hmm. But there we know that there's more to dental implants. We know that there's partials, there's fulls, there's, you know, there's all these different things, the cost of dental implants. There's different things to talk about dental implants. So when we go, we look at this trend, this history, and how people are searching for dental implants. Most of the time it's how much are dental implants? What are mm-hmm. the costs? Um, what are the costs for partials? So then we see all that, we see all that, those search terms and the volume associated with it. So now not only do we write content, we create individual pages around those. Uh, okay. So now your dental implant service page is not just one page. It may be nine pages deep. Hmm. And then if you look on average, you know, a, a dental site, maybe with a dental implant page might have maybe 300, 400 words. We're doing 1,100 words per page. So when you have hmm. nine pages with 1,100 words, so each site has about over 100,000 words that we deploy. Right. And it's being optimized and it's, it's, it's the data structure. So when you, you can go and write a blog and post it on your site, Mm -hmm. would it ever come up in index for any of the things you're writing about within Google? Most likely not because the the data behind it, the code, if you ever right clicked on a website and view paid the source, all that gibberish code is not optimized. It's not going to come up in the Google search. And if you want it to come up in a specific area a geo area you need to have those longitude and latitudes in there who's going that far to look at longitude and latitudes right so we're right. We're, we're getting down so like to the nitty-gritty for google saying hey if anyone is searching about this content and this longitude and latitude this is the authority so i don't have to search i'm not searching dental implants in louisville or dental implants in riverside california um google if i do it right Google takes care of the Riverside, California part. Okay. So if I do implants, I love implants, I want to get bigger in implants. Or if I'm a dentist who is starting to do sleep, Sleep. I'm I'm doing, um, you know, uh, different things, air, you know, airway, sleep, the whole, whatever. whatever. Uh, I can't actually focus on that through the content that goes into my website. And just so I understand it, not in terms of, I don't want to say this. Not that I expect people to come in, research it, and then say, oh, that sounds really interesting. Now I'm going to call, you know, Dr. Parker. The fact that I have so much of it puts me to the top because Google says, you know, Google doesn't want to deliver up old, you know, worn out, outdated content. They, they, they put it up because it's fresh. And then secondly, you're doing the same thing. You're saying, you know, whatever you have there is click here to call, click here to call, click here to call. So you've given them all the tools to do those three steps, you know, seven out of 10 new patients find their dentist online, 65% on a mobile device and 50%, 56% click and make the appointment. It's, it's not the search. That's the magic. It's the website. That's the magic. Is that a good way to say it? Absolutely. And now you have voice search coming into the mix. Ah, Dr. Genius is about three years ahead of the curve on voice search. We've been helping, we've helped Google and Alexa build out their database. So now, since we were aware that voice was coming to the market, like you said, like, where uh-huh. is that puck going to be? That's right. what we said. Okay, where is it going to be? So we started developing our optimization strategy three years ago for voice search. So if you're a client with us, you're winning voice search hands down. Now, what was really unique was the medic update about a year, two years ago, that a lot of de- doctors, just the healthcare industry got hit. Uh-huh. All of our clients went up hmm. so when the rest of the industry went down all of mm-hmm. our clients we were ahead of the curve we were already seeing where google was going and we were contributing to them so when we help when we hmm. build these sites and we make it so nice and pretty so where google's bots can go through and read the information and get all the information they need without reporting back null then they're like wow everything uh-huh. coming from here is authority so if this is coming from dr genius you know and it's like okay it's the content is is copyrighted content. We re- rewrite it, repurpose it, but they know this is Dr. Genius content. 
So then the authority, Dr. Genius is an authority as well, right? So now they know the correlation, they're, they're making these connections. Google is, and Google is always learning. That is like the right. eight artificial, you know, intelligence machine of all. So, um, yeah. It knows, it, and that's how it knows those things. It's not just a raw search. It's adding elements in. So I have, you know, it's funny you say this, is it you're like Google Assistant. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I hope Paula is not watching this because um, he, I, I, about Andrew, I'm going to say late last year into January, I became a Google Assistant. I became a Google addict. Um, so I have cameras around the house. I have, you know, there are so many, uh, what do they call it? Internet of things yeah. that you can control. Sometimes and I've it noticed it, it does learn. So at first you have to, you put it all in and you say, this is the master bedroom light switch. Mm -hmm. And this is the living room TV. And this is the, whatever it is. Um, I have a routine that when we're ready for bed, you know, you can say whatever you want. Uh, mine is, hey, Google, do your thing. And it will turn on the outside lights. It'll turn off the living room lights. It'll turn off TVs. It'll lock the door. And now I'm embarrassed to say this, but, you know, we're replacing our bed. We're getting old. So we wanted one of these, um, the beds where it's adjustable. Uh, oh, I want one. My you wife can get me one. For one. <laughs> you know, you can get one with Alexa and Google. So <laughs> part of Google do your thing is it flattens the bed out and turns the lights off. So, uh, but what I've noticed is um, I don't have to say, I don't have to like name a specific room anymore. I can walk in the room and it knows me and it knows Paula. It's, you know, if I can say it, like Paula works from home. So she walks in the office and she says, good morning. You know, Hey Google, good morning. And it turns on the office light. It does. It, so it does all this stuff. And the same thing sort of happening on the back end, I'm guessing. The magic of what you do as sort of an all-encompassing back-end intelligence is not just giving somebody a website, but all of, you know, everybody's websites that you produce or in your client base makes you, uh, you're giving a, a client a higher rating on Google just by being part of this whole overall universe of Dr. Gene. Of content, yeah, of, of our content, yeah, being a part of our content strategy. Um, and then it says, I'm in Riverside, literally down to, um, I mean, can't it get down to like, I don't know, like this neighborhood or this street or this, whatever you pick, right? Well, yeah, because that's where we, we, we put those bots on every, you know, at every longitude and latitude mark. Okay. So it's, you know, it's really close. Um, what I was going to say is, um, so I, you turn, turn Google on, and it's Nest, Google, or whatever. If I forget to turn the alarm off when I leave the house, um, I'll be, you know, it knows I leave because I've got this with me. And about, I don't know, a mile away, a little thing pops up and it says, hey, and I gave it like a British woman's voice. And, you know, it'll say, oh, it looks like you left the house. Would you like to, um, and I created, a again, a routine. Mm -hmm. Would you like to be away? Or, um, and if I say yes, it locks the door, turns on the alarm, activate, you know, the smoke detectors yeah. are going, all this stuff, but it does that. And then when I get home, it does just the opposite. It knows I'm about a mile away, uh, turns off the alarm, unlocks it. So it says, says, welcome home when you pull in the driveway. Yes. It'll even talk to you when you walk in. It's it yeah. like, so, so you're basically harnessing that magic and putting it into somebody saying, um, you know, hey, Google, uh, who's the best? I implant dentist around me and then and it, it, it's not just a raw phrase but there's and a lot in milliseconds google's sending out bots right huh. it's sending out all these bots real quick and it's each bot has has a, a specific job so okay. some of it is maybe one of it one of the bots is um verifying the nap name address and phone number so it takes hmm. what's out there on google and maybe hits an axiom database and a facebook hmm. database and all these other databases to verify, okay, oh, that address is matched up, that the website matches up. So within milliseconds, all of this is happening, and then it reports back, and whoever has the most authority gets to the top. Ah, so, so you can't just, I mean, you can buy your way up somewhat, but you can also get outranked by somebody well, who has see, fresh Buying time. your way up would be like the old school buying links and backlinks and all that. That's, those okay. days are over. Um, okay. So now it's really content is king. Hmm. It's, 
whoever's putting out the content, whoever is out there on social media making posts, whoever is that most relevant relevant influencer, let's say, mm -hmm. you know, in their specific, I guess that's the best way to look at it is you want to become the influencer for dentistry in your five mile radius. Okay. And that's what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that everybody knows who you are via your reputation and, you know, and being found. So when that, we know who the decision maker is when it usually comes down to our dental work, it's mom. Mm -hmm. so why would we target a male? You know, why would we write content towards the, a male? If right. we're writing content that speaks to the female that is maybe a little bit softer, has a feminine approach to it, mm -hmm. it's going to convert. You know, rather than something written for you and I, you know, it gets that, um, it just gets that click, click and call, click call and, you know, yeah. Uh, so where hey, you and I, it may just be a few words to where it's like, oh, yeah, a guy, you know what I mean? It's, but maybe, you know, that, that for the female, it is, they need to be, you know, they're going to, especially mm -hmm. a mom, you know, with their kids, they're going to want to do their due diligence and research. Right. They want to see what other mothers are saying, you know, what are the other experiences of their community? So, so you make a lot of bold claims, um, uh, which, you know, I, I've seen the platform and that's the reason we're having this conversation is it's very, it's impressive as a tool. So um, if you could show the viewers what, uh, what the platform looks like, so to speak, I think you have the one where it's the phone, there you go, the, like what you can do. So if I have, a, let's say this, you know, I sign up with you, Andrew, and you say, I'm going to get you, you know, 10 new patients. And I say, all right, I'm, I believe you, but I'm only going to believe you for a month or two. And, you know, I don't believe it's happening. Um, can you walk through real quickly what kind of what goes on here and how any, anybody who's, you know, works yeah, for, can just check, you know, they can be sitting on their phone at the gym and check out what happened, what's happening. Yeah. So th this right here is you'll see, you know, it's just a real quick 9,000 foot view when you first log into the portal. Nice. So it's really easy to hold us accountable. We're very transparent in what we're doing. Um, and this is where you would do it. So that, you know, that, that threshold of 10 new patients, Hey, Andrew, I don't know if I'm getting this. Well, you know, mm -hmm. doctor, go ahead and log into the portal. Let's walk through this real quick. Um, and through here, you can see that we've generated 78 calls. Um, mm -hmm. Total web form submissions are 22 and which resulted in a total of two, um, 40 new patient inquiries, okay? Um, your average talk time is kind of cut off, which is two minutes and 23 seconds. Yeah. All these calls that come in are recorded, and it's all HIPAA compliant. Hmm. Okay. So the doctor or the office manager can go back, listen to the calls. You can read disposition if it's an existing patient, and they mm -hmm. uh, that fingered it and said that they're a new patient. Take credit away from us. That's fine. We want to be transparent we don't want to take credit where credit's not a due we only want credit for new patient inquiries um, so this is where you can hold us accountable and you can go in there and, and listen to the calls um, this is what that looks like here you can see the calls you have mm -hmm. all your your contacts your practice promoter that's how you go ahead and solicit new patient reviews from your okay. existing client base um, so you can go ahead and set that up on a timer so that they opt in to receive um, a SMS message to fill out a review. You can set it, let's say, for two hours after they leave the office. So it's not like you know, bombarding them with a text message just when they're sitting there in the office. Mm -hmm. um, and the disposition here, this is when you start telling, uh, telling Dr. Genius what's happening. So we urge all of our clients to go in here and listen to their calls, disposition them. Usually calls under 30 seconds, you can um, just put those to the wayside. It's usually a solicit solicitation yeah. of some sort. But when it starts getting past that, we urge you to actually take a call, take a listen. If it hasn't been disposition, please disposition it. There's numerous dispositions there. And that's going to really tell us if the campaign's working. Meaning working. disposition, right. meaning. So uh, we see that, wow, this is a new patient. And it was a seven minute call. Right. Wow, where'd that come from? What search term was that, right? Uh -huh. and, start learning and, we and you can back into that. Yeah, we see it through our, all of our analytics. We can see that. So here's a report here, which shows ah, oh, wow. graphic to uh, the content to the content we produced on our um, client sites. Okay, and what we're seeing what this report is showing is from 2019 to 2020. 
more of it's going to these, these pages, to these blogs, to the actual mm -hmm. content. They want to really read, do you need a crown after a root canal treatment? You know, nice. and you can see the increase here, average pay, um, time on site. So I want everyone to take in a look at the 6.2% average. If anyone's familiar with bounce rates, a bounce rate is how many people or how many searches or viewers come to the site and then bounce off. How much really sticks? Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So Google says 40 to 60% bounce rate is good. Meaning 40 to 60% of the traffic gets to your site sticks. Right? So we're, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hit that. We're at, let's say 7%. It's sticking. So Traffic. they stay and read, stay, read. They yes. don't just read a headline and. Yeah. And then, and then they click. And keep going. Yeah. And then they click. And then what we see here. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So our bounce rate is down 53%, right? Everything is page views is up 53%. So instead of going to the homepage, they're actually going to the blog pages right now. Hmm which means straight to a blog or straight to an article. So they'd well, search something like, how do I get food out of my teeth? And yeah, and the, and the reason why is the correlation I see there is just because they have time. Mm -hmm. they're, at home, they're at home, you know, but that's nothing to take with a grain of salt. That is, an, that is a time to where you can actually provide more content, get out there, right? And get in mm -hmm. front of them and get a new patient. So it's, it's a, I see it as a new opportunity to get patients. It's just a different avenue. So instead of working, focusing, let's say on that Google triangle on the homepage, mm -hmm. getting that call or that, that form fill. Now it's really about focusing on that content, making sure you have that content because they are going there. They're looking for it. And then having the call to actions within that. Right. Mm -hmm. So where they can schedule, they feel comfortable. They got the information that they, they were looking for. And now they feel comfortable enough to schedule that appointment. That's that 56% who just say, oh, these, they, look, yeah. look, they look good. They're right down the street. Oh, yeah. I pass them, you know, on the way to the grocery. Click and you call and make an appointment or call to ask a question, which, you know, if the doctor's end is good, you know, results in an appointment. Um, and then here you, you can see the reporting even from the keywords. You know, okay. You don't, yeah. in, you don't have to go in and search every keyword to see if you're ranking. And then huh. it'll tell you how much, if, if you've increased or not, right? Or if you've decreased. Um, we use this as, you know, kind of a flag too. If we see a decrease, we know we have to go and work on it, which there okay. are, there's going to be ups and downs, right? Um, and what we see in our trends when we go over our reporting is that for every down, when we come back, it's like twice, the, our comeback is twice as high right? Because we, we learn, we optimize, and we come back stronger. And okay. Google is running about two to three updates on their algorithm per day. They're not core yeah. updates, but they're updates to where we're aware of them. And then through our solution, like we have thousands of sites that we manage. And so you'd imagine, whoa, if Google runs an algorithm update, they have to go through all these sites and update all these sites. Hmm. We have a solution where we, through our our solution, we have, through a click of a button, we can update thousands of sites via one click of a button with that new code. Of your your client sites. Of our clients. Yeah, that's what that's the neat thing about being on with us that you know that everything's going to be um, handled, you know, in, in such a manner. Um, and it really gets to like when we're talking about those numbers, you know, and, and you know the ten new patients or forty five new patients. That is really the baseline. That's the minimum. And like we were talking before, if I were to share the real numbers, everyone's really going to say, there's no way they're going to, you know, think I'm the next Nostradamus or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but let's just take a look at this case study. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So he did, and this is somebody. So I think the, the, the takeaway or the message is you're not just buying a website and then you're done and wait and see what happens. And then, oh gosh, I'm going to buy some SEO terms and see how that you know generates into some traffic at the end of the day it doesn't generate it might generate into activity but it doesn't turn into phone calls which turn into patients and what you see here with dr tahan you know i mean he got a 1125 percent increase in first page results on google which huh. led to a hundred percent increase actually that was more like 300 percent. we had to bring that down so it'd be believable mm -hmm. 
that increase is well over 100% in revenue and 80% increase in new patient calls. So this gentleman, you know, he started at 599 and he's like, hey, what happens if I give you more money, more money, more money, you know? And, you know, it got up to, you know, it's right. substantially a lot of, and he's getting really great results. Um, he's already paid off his practice within the first year. Which, you know, so there, that's exactly what I was going to say. So you're either, whether you're starting a practice, maybe again, as you're coming back and you know that, you know, you have a, I don't know, 1200 patient base right now, active patients, and you're going to catch them up over the next, say, 90 days um, of just normal patient flow. And then they're back into the hygiene schedule six months after that. You can start something as you go that gains that new patient momentum for uh, September, October, November, and then let those two things sort of, those two curves come together. It's like hedging the market, right? Yeah. You really, you really, yeah. So here's a question. If I start today, how long does it take until I start seeing those results? So we have about a 60 to 90 day go live. So okay. it's really dependent on the dentist, on them approving content. Um, branding, the messaging, the keywords. There's an approval process there, the onboarding process. Mm -hmm. um, in some situations, they'll go ahead and give that to an office manager, mm -hmm. and the office manager has to report back to the dentist and get the approval. That's right. when we see a delay, right? Because there's a kind of a break in the connection, and then what will happen, or the office manager will approve it, we go live, dentist sees it, he's like, what the hell? Like, I didn't mm -hmm. approve that, right? And then we have right. to so I urge if you are going to, you know, move forward that to keep that in consideration, um, okay. that if you are the decision maker, that it stops there. There's no passing the buck because that's what's going to, you know, prolong it. This right. is, um, I'm an analytical data driven individual. So I like my goal is to generate a return on investment as soon as possible for you as mm -hmm. a client. Um, so I just it, putting that time out, it's just going to, you know, make that time for money to come back longer. Um, but after going live, so let's say we go live within 60 days, you can expect to be hitting those thresholds within 90 days. So we're, what are we, eight, or May 20th. And, you know, uh, like in California, I think uh, dentists came back uh, the 18th, two days ago. 5% of them. Yeah, and Kentucky is, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Kentucky is back uh, this week. Indiana was back last week. So about two weeks in, three weeks in. So if I've got a 60-day clock to, to have a new patient machine sort of running and, and you need stuff from me, uh, which, you know, you can't just say, you know, spit me out a website and it works. Again, you've got to have that. You've got to take your content, massage it in my way, and then that's what helps Google, you know, find me and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that's about August, right? So I would start seeing a new patient flow Fair in fun. August, getting steady. I'm guessing October, November, December, I can start saying, all right, here's my, you know, my, my flow is kind of like this at first. And then it starts to even out and I can just expect a steady. And in some cases, if you have a foundation there already, mm -hmm and we have something to build upon, you'll start, as we start cleaning up data, because we clean up all the data listings out there across okay. all the search engines. Um, and that's like another conversation for mm -hmm. a few hours getting into that. But we clean up everything. So just by doing that, it may make the phone start ringing. You know, okay. Just, while we're in production, it's not you know, unheard of to actually see an increase in new patient inquiries. Yeah because we're fixing things to where people actually can call you. The number's actually right out there, right? Mm -hmm. um, whether it's with health grades or wherever. Um, so you start seeing, you know, effects of our work, you know, in, in some cases immediately, you know, if the foundation's there. Now, if it's a new practice, you know, there's no listings out there and we're building mm -hmm. from the ground up. Obviously that's gonna take time. Or I see. You, you have Google that has to send out a postcard to do the verification of the address you know, rather than just calling them and doing the mm -hmm. that way. Um, that's something we do pride ourselves on and we are a Google partner. Um, I've helped design the Google partnership um, program years mm -hmm. ago. I'm, I'm, I myself was a Google ambassador for the partnership. So um, we really pride ourselves on, on that relationship. 
to where you I'm kind of it it helps right on the, yeah at the end of the day um, well i think the key the takeaway for me is that it is a, a constantly evolving marketing tool you know it's not it's not the back back cover of the yellow pages where i print it and if i don't like it i can change it next year you know for yes. eleven thousand dollars um this is a constantly growing moving thing and for you to be at the top or for you to be one of those when those seven out of ten people are looking for a new dentist and they you know 65 percent are on their phone that you are always at the top of what you can't can't do it today and you know just sit back and wait till next year it is an evolving thing and that's part of that so the other thing was i wrote down here did you tell me you've got uh it's 5.99 a month sort of like a basic plan and it's 10 new patients so that is 59 dollars per new patient mm -hmm. have i got that right yes and that's scalable so i mean like <clears throat> you know that was the question that was brought up like wow that's you know great andrew but it's really you know 10 new patients is, isn't enough so we do have you know different models and to, to you know kind of yeah there we go with, compete with that i go ahead and put this in um like our platinum pr program competes with the google ads campaign hands down okay so if i'm a little bigger you yeah. know and if i can hand the other thing is if i can handle so what i hear andrew typically is a, a doc who says all right i'm in a bind and you know payroll's coming up you know in a week and i need a bunch of new patients now uh number one this doesn't solve that that fast um but number two that if i'm a bigger practice and i can i can swallow 45 new patients a month then you've got some place so you just scale it up to that 45 new patients yep so we scale up content um and we never start anyone on this program so okay. so our whole approach is to grow with you if the okay. volume and if the volume isn't there because of your geolocation because you may not you might not be in a huge you know metro area so then the volume would never be there to get you know that type of traffic so we will educate you and let you know where the thresholds are um so the highest that we will start someone if they have an existing foundation would be and they're in a metro area would be a gold package okay, uh, okay. so you know right off the bat you know i from anyone that I talk to, it's like, hey, get started at $5.99, get mm -hmm. rolled out, let it start working. And then in 90 days, which is in more cases not, you know, individuals want to upgrade after 90 days anyway, because they see like, wow, I'm putting this much right. in and this much out. Right. And after 90 days, you can upgrade to the $24.99 per month. Um, why pay that 2,500 bucks a month when it's really in that first, you know, 90 days, you're not going to get that full return right yeah, yeah yeah and that's where i you know we pride ourselves we want to grow with your practice um, we're not here just you know to take a monthly service fee um you know, we're in it in the long run um, whether it's you know growing the practice to you know buying another practice adding associates um or even selling your practice um, we're you know definitely here for you so okay so i'm just doing some quick math if i take those 10 new patients and assume I'm really good and I keep eight of them for a second visit and then a third visit. I kind of get them, they're, they're now long-term patients. They're not mm -hmm. in and out. They're not coming in for free whitening, you know, cause I, cause I didn't want to spend marketing dollars, you know, with Andrew, uh, I figured I'd spend a hundred dollars and put a big sign on the side of my building that says free whitening. And so I got a bunch of new patients, prospective patients who wanted free whitening and I never see them again. Yep. So um, if 80, eight of those stick, times 800 or times 100 we'll say for a hygiene visit uh that's 800 bucks and um then uh if i do what i'm supposed to do and our uh, treatment plan restorative off of hygiene that's another 2400 on average so basically a dollar of hygiene generates three dollars of restorative not on every patient but on average wow. um so you know you've got that's 3200 dollars in revenue off of 600 we'll say we're rounded up a buck off of 600 mm -hmm. um and that's if they just stick for one year that's all um and that doesn't accumulate uh 10 10 last month 10 this month absolutely 10 next month 10 the month after that's 40 new patients that's twelve thousand eight hundred dollars of revenue in my pocket 
for um, what is that? Four times, say five ninety nine, twelve, twenty four hundred dollars. I mean, that's crazy returns. If you're that's, a job of and now you can see why like these doctors are wanting to yeah. upgrade all the time. They can't even go to Vegas and get these type of odds. <laughs> right, right. And at the end of the day, you know, you've got your platform. I mean, you can see that you know the beauty and the magic of somebody using their their phone to do this is you know the call came from the Google ad because they clicked it. Yep. Um, and you recorded the phone call, which I think is really um, amazing. You know, I can, as a practice owner, I can sit at home at night and say, you know, gosh, <clears throat> and I'm, let me ask this, I'm assuming you can. I can look at this and say, gosh, I, my phone rang 78 times, and last month we put 25% or 50% in an appointment, and this month it's 30%. What the heck's going on? You can go listen and say, ah, that's what happened. Now I've got Susie at the front desk instead of Mary Jane at the front desk. And suddenly, you know, but I'm paying Susie a buck an hour less. Uh, so I'm saving, uh, what is that, less than $2,000 a year. But, but, she doesn't also, know, but she doesn't know you offer Perio Protect. Right, there you go. So, and, and that's what we're seeing. Mm -hmm. We're like, hey doc, are you listening to these calls? Because you may find, you know, things slipping through the cracks. Yeah. And they're, they're like, wow, front office just turned away a dental implant client. Right, right. Or, uh, you know, my favorite is um, somebody calls and says, hey, I'm, you know, I don't know, I just moved to town with my two kids and, you know, I was supposed to get, a, you know, a, um, my old dentist said something about implants. Do you do implants? And they say, yeah. And you say, oh, you know, okay, well, if I want to decide to do them, I'll call you. You know, you need somebody saying, Proactive. yes, and by the way, we blank, blank, blank. Mm -hmm. Here's what I'd suggest. Let's get you in. And, you know, and that's the back end. That's after you. But you at least made that phone ring 78 times. And then now, you know, you can look and say, well, gosh, here's why I'm spending so much money. You know, instead of 50% of them make an appointment, you know, I've got 10%. So, so there's, some, there's some back end part that you can do, but you at least now have a tool, right? Yep, you have some transparency into it. Okay. No, that's great. So what haven't we covered that sort of the new, you know, the magic of these, uh, the reason seven, seven out of 10 look for a new doc online, 65% use a phone, 56% appoint immediately. What's the magic we may not have covered, Andrew? Well, I mean, I think we covered it all. I think some we okay. saw in this, in this trend here was the teledentistry, which with, yeah. um, with Dr. Genius PX, which is our patient experience um, okay. solution, and in um, partnership with Dr. Laskin over at mm -hmm. UBS, yep. we now have teledentistry. So, um, you know, if, if that's you know something that's a concern, we can definitely get that implemented for you as well. It's very, very affordable. Um, to, within this platform. Yeah, within our platform. So it's all tied in together. It's it'll live on the website. It's all integrated. So you have the paperless forms, um, hmm. your your COVID nineteen pre screening. Um, you know, so it makes it really seamless. So if that's a concern, we definitely have that solution um, okay. all tied up for you as well. I think the, the important part is how many people are searching the term yeah, teledentistry. Yeah. And so what I think is interesting that you've done in a very short amount of time is reacted to, the, or let me rephrase that. You've responded to that. What do they say? Don't react, respond. Yeah. You've responded to that and said, you know, if that many people are looking for it, and if it makes things easier now, you know, while, while we're shut down, but it just makes sense when we come back, you suddenly integrate that into what you do. And now, you know, uh, out of, out of a, not just sitting around, you know, you and me having a beer and saying, what do you think about teledentistry? And saying, I think it'll do great. You know, and, you have to yeah. that says it's all, if it's on the mind of my patients and all patients, um, it's a thing we need to, we better be looking at. But it's on the mind of Google as well. Yeah. So, um, a little hint. Um, there's, you know, Google, we've been working with them and there's some talk about these Google listings having mm -hmm. a, t a teledentistry little button widget. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so, that's some, so that, that's a little sauce I'll just throw in. Yeah, at the you know, well, I, but <laughs> it, at the, the end of the day, you know, we talked beforehand just to kind of put a, wrap this up and put a bow on it. We talked beforehand that nobody knows you know, um, I, I've, I've asked this rhetorically before, Andrew, about, you know, these experts we hear, uh, you know, 
uh, put out in front of us, who, who is an expert in this? I mean, who, uh, there's 7 billion of us on the planet and we've picked, you know, this guy as an expert. <laughs> um, is he, has he lived through more global pandemics than any other immunologist? Or is this economic expert, have they lived through more global shutdown, economic shutdowns than anybody else? You know, there, there are no experts, but we can certainly speculate. And again, we know where that puck is going. And, and educated I, decisions. Yeah, and that's the key. Make decisions based on data, which may or may not be what you would do normally, but it's what your customers and your patients are doing. So where they're going is where the puck is going. And if you're not there when they get there, you know, your competition is. So, um, uh, so yeah, I think that's kind of the cool part that you would roll that out that quickly. And, you know, I, I think you're right to bet on that um, and integrate it into what you do. Um, but I think the important takeaway is just that uh, how often, how often did you say Google is working those uh, algorithms? Yeah, so uh, about three times a day. They're not core updates, but they're updates to the algorithm. And then you have the core update, you know, like that medic update, which was uh -huh. a core update um, where all of our clients, you know, were, were majority of our clients you know, took an increase in, in search. Um, there are a lot of the other providers out there, you know, decreased and were having some issues with um, their their strategy, right? So that we're able to, you know, upgrade along with that and we're staying on, on top of that is is huge because, I mean, to put out a site as a web designer and set it mm -hmm. and forget it is relatively easy. Well, that's what I was going to say. So the people who built a site, I don't know, four years ago, love it, spent a bunch of money on it. WordPress and site. bought a little SEO and, you know, spent a little bit of money on it. Um, the, the reason your guys are up is because they're finding you now and that person's site is just, you know, they're on page three or something. They've started to move down. Yeah. And so, so then a consistent content strategy, you know, building that, those, those pages and those, you know, that authority for those topics is where it's at because when you set it and forget it that content becomes stale and old and that's part of your monthly fee right yeah it's part of okay. monthly fee. the content is for sort of all your clients okay yep. that is uh so i have learned a lot today um Bad. you know i thought i knew about seo and you know i kind of understood the websites um and i assumed i don't know every few months google just updated something um but you know it makes sense and that also makes sense for somebody who used to be in the top three spots now they can't find themselves and they wonder you know why oh well here's there's where you went mm -hmm. so so can you real quickly again you offered up a um free geo canvas report geo canvassing yes yeah so let's um for anyone on the webinar today let's if you go to drgenius.com forward slash demo okay go ahead and fill out your information there and sorry my light went off um all right We'll go ahead and reach out to you, um, get that can geo canvas report done, show you really what's going on with your practice in your okay. own backyard. So that's a demo, no cost, no obligation, no cost. No, no cost, no obligation. It's just um, you fill out this, we run it on the back end. It takes us about 30 minutes, 45 minutes to run it. Okay. And once it's done, we'll reach out to you and we'll, um, if you have time then, we can go ahead and review it. If not, we can go ahead and schedule a better time. Uh, I'm guessing that most people who get one are a little surprised at how they're doing. Yeah, they're like, oh, I'm on the first page. And, you know, so we're like, yeah, you are, because you're, we can see that you're doing that search from your office right now. <laughs> 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 and when you do it, suddenly they're nowhere or you're two well, blocks uh, away. Well, you we see it. Yeah, you see that their, their office icon is green with uh -huh. maybe like a one or two, meaning that's, you know, with the keyword that's being searched, that's where okay. they're ranking. But then all the other little, because they're little, the little dots when you drop a pin. So mm -hmm. it's a little pin drop, you know, so, and then all, everything around them in a square, five mile square, is okay. red. So huh. it might pop up a little one here or there, you know, um, and then that's where we see, okay, well, this is where, you know, they have a foundation or this is where they're lacking, you know, um, and we know how to strategize from there. Well, that is a lot of amazing, cool stuff. And again, I think the important thing, practice owners, is that, you have a window. This is not something you turn a key and suddenly, you know, you're, you're generating, but, and it is something that once you're going, uh, most of this takes very little involvement uh, during the month on my part, right? 
um, you're, you're doing most of the content back end. You're just looking for a little bit of input, very specific input for me, but it's not hours and hours and hours of time. Uh, it is for you guys, but you know, yeah. not for me, the practice owner. No, it's, it's hours and days, um, if not weeks of our time. Mm -hmm. um, for you, it's about an hour. Okay. Okay. And that helps me. And really, once you invest that hour, you know, Friday morning when you're, you know, not seeing patients, um, it, that's what keeps that constant new patient machine running, you know, while you're, well, you know, while you're asleep. Yep. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, Andrew, I appreciate you coming on. Like I said, the, the other day when you showed that, I thought, holy cow, things like teledentistry and holistic. And I mean, there are terms that just, you know, a year ago you wouldn't have seen that are now trending way up. And the, the key is how you react and respond to them and, and stay, um, you know, I'm uh, not a technical term, but you stay relevant uh, enough that, that when, seven, when those seven out of 10 people, when they pick a dentist, they pick you that yep. you present yourself in a way that they, they uh, do that. So, well, Absolutely. good. Andrew, again, I appreciate you coming on. Uh, how would Thank somebody you. get in touch with you if they're watching and have a question for you? Yeah, they can email me direct, alopez at drgenius.com. Okay. And there's a telephone number here at the top, 877-477-2311. Um, feel free awesome. to reach out to them and they'll get me on the phone if they need there as well. Um, you can actually chat us on the agent online. Um, Oh, Hello. yeah. Um, it says offline right now, but if you put a message in there, he'll come right on it. I okay. Can't <laughs> I can't. Cool. Well, again, I appreciate you coming on and sharing what you do. I know we've, we've talked about this. Um, you know, I'll be honest. I, you know, I thought I was smarter than I was about this. And you've educated me a lot just today sort awesome. of on how it, you know, how it works. And uh, I'm, you know, when I got this data, that's one of the reasons I reached out is, is, um, when I got this data on how patients are finding dentists, why they stick, uh, that kind of stuff, those were the three that really stuck out to me and realized, you know, if you're not doing this thing, if you're, if you're not online, if you don't respect the online component, right. um, you're, I mean, you're, so now you're fishing for the three out of 10 who are left that didn't, you know, find you online. The other thing is, even with your referrals, um, I think the thing to keep in mind is, you know, even if somebody says, hey, I like uh, Dr. Lopez down the road, uh, you know, he's my dentist and he does great. The first thing people do is Google you. Yep. Um, so you still want to look good and smart. You want to come up the top. You want to look, you know, polished versus they got to, the, the harder they have to look for you, the, you know, the faster they're going to give up. So yep. even for referrals, you, you need to, I mean, this is important. Yep, absolutely. Okay. Awesome. Well, we went a little over. That's okay. Uh, good content, good stuff, uh, and good tools. And, you know, like I said, I think we talked before, for a lot of docs, this is, you know, the ones who, there's going to be a lot who don't make it. But for the ones who do, they, get, they have an opportunity to start over. And there are going to be a lot of displaced patients from the practices that, you know, they either go ahead and retire now instead of five years from now, they sell, they do whatever they do to just say, this is sort of, you know, I don't want to be the owner anymore. Love being a dentist. Maybe I'll associate with somebody, but I don't want to be the owner after this. And so as those dynamics play out, anybody who is committed to it really needs to be getting ahead of the new patient issue. And, you know, it, it, if you start now, you're kind of getting there in August. If you start in August, you're getting there in October. Um, you know, so yeah. you, you need to get almost like a new population being introduced, right? Because yes. you have a lot of noise being, you know, taken out of the market, a lot of your competitors, right? So right. now is the time to really thrive and get out there and get that market share. It's, it's going to be easier than ever to get it. Um, so if I cancel my yellow pages back cover, um, and cover your whole year of our plan <laughs> twice the year for Dr. Genius. <laughs> Uh, plus gets me way more patients and I get, I cut it in half so I can pocket, you know, six grand. Yep. Um, awesome. Andrew, I appreciate it. Um, you, uh, Andrew Lopez, Dr. Genius. And you guys, uh, you heard, uh, if you can't get a hold of him through any of these means, reach out to us at the Profitable Dentist and we'll make sure that you, um, you know, you get in touch with Andrew. And uh, I really appreciate you sharing your platform and the numbers. But I think the key thing is the new patients and how it works. In the back end of it. So um, 
I think that's pretty, pretty amazing. So uh, with that, we'll wrap up another edition of Coming Back Stronger. And uh, practice owners, hang in there. We, we are coming back. It's probably, I think the most docs have, have been back uh, about two weeks to three weeks. And I think California is like at the tail end. New York, I think, is uh, the end of this month. So by 30 days, 60 days from now, uh, I think we're going to see most of the dental industry back and uh, back up and going and figure out what our new normal in dentistry looks like. But at the end of the day, you still need new patients. So uh, this is a great way to, to sort of get that process rolling. So with that, uh, thanks for listening in and uh, we'll see you next time. Andrew, see you, buddy. Right. Bye. Bye-bye.